Hello Mr. Forbes, so now I'm gonna present you my overview of my project with Renovation Le Bon Job. So as you know, uh, because of the previous project, uh, it all began with a partnership with Renovation Le Bon Job and a 3D printer uh, company. So uh, the idea came that uh, Renovation Le Bon Job really needed uh, hammers, so uh, ecological way to uh, product hammers would be uh, 3D printed hammers. So that's uh, where the idea came from. So there are many things that I did, like uh, I did research and so things like that to make it happen. So uh, Renovation Le Bon Diable is in fact the company of my father. So I did the, the research and I did everything possible uh, to make it happen. So the first thing that I did was the letters. So the letters were, were made by word. So with that uh, merged letter, it was possible to make it very easy. So I had to reach to different companies and different persons uh, with different jobs in uh, each companies to, uh, to reach out to them and see uh, which which company was uh, better for us to do a partnership with whether it was like 3d printer experts or uh, Imprimant Rive or uh, Imprix or Three Dimensions also Imprimant MC so these were all the companies that I reached out to so the best thing I did is uh, just do one letter with uh, one professional message and I send it to different persons uh, so it's personalized so it was very very useful for my project so that's the first thing I did for uh, to reach out to the different uh, companies the second thing I did with uh, the project was the screenshots right here with Excel so that was a way for me to just to just do a graphic and a screenshot. So the graphic was very to plan what were the main uh, goals of the company. So the graphic of Renovation Le Bon Diable was to do 3D, was to 3D print hammers, obviously, and it was for the partnership, so for Renovation Le Bon Diable, and it was also for uh, the home, so uh, standard customers. So it was very important for me to just I'm very, I'm a very organized person, so just to organize my ideas very clearly as I did with the graphic, so now I can see what are my objectives that I want to uh, to succeed uh, with. Uh, the next next thing I did was a screenshot, so uh, it was just an idea. I was I was uh, making some research to work on the project, so uh, I did this screenshot to just have uh, the the site of Renovation Le Bon Diable very close to me and it was very easy because if I clicked on it I could go to uh, the website as it is written down there. So uh, that was just a way to have it like instead of always going Renovation Le Bon Diable online I could just have a picture and a website link in it so it, that was very useful to make my research quicker uh, it, was, uh, it was less time consuming. So the next step was marketing. So for my marketing, obviously a newsletter is the best thing. So to be known by clients, to reach attention, to make sure everybody knows exactly what you plan on making. So that was the best thing to do for me because it was all explaining my project very clearly. So uh, this was just explaining uh, like why I did so. So because it's a new technology, how it is going to work for the customers, for my company. Also, the hammers available for, as I said, the customers, because everybody can have one. Uh, the delivery, like the cost, the days, the everything, and uh, where to purchase it, as well as some uh, little icons to make it obvious to uh, what is the main point of the article. So for the marketing, it was obvious that that was the best thing to do. So uh, I think I won't, I wouldn't go back in time. So now that I, that the project has uh, came out, 
I think that that was the most helpful thing to make it happen. So next step is obviously the calculations for money to make it profitable and to see if it's worth the money. So the first thing I did was a mortgage payment calculator. So I could change the date, the, the price, the term, the monthly payment, uh, the total interest, the loan amount, everything. And I could see uh, with the rate changing how much would it cost to me uh, of interest, the total cost and also the monthly payments. So that was a key for me to understand how money works because I'm, I'm a visual and organized person. So that way I could see uh, very clearly like how would it cost. So that was a, a very good key. So if I had to redo it, obviously I should I would uh, use that. Another thing, uh, another thing with the money. So it was the expenses. So as you know, uh, the 3D printed uh, partnership, we had many factories. So whether it is one in Quebec, Alberta or Ontario. So these were all the projected changes in percentages, uh, the, the expenses for all the different categories every year, the changes from one year to another in every factory. So uh, it was very important to keep track of all the expenses in all the different factories to just make sure that everything is on point always. So uh, now here I could uh, just add all the different uh, expenses from all the factories into one so I could see overall what was the the percentage of all the different expenses so uh, I could see if uh, on the long term the company would be profitable or not if I should stop the the partnership or if I should uh, reinforce it to make it uh, more profitable so that was very important for me because like everything depends on money in a company like uh, cash is king uh, so if you don't have cash nothing is gonna work so that was very 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 important to make it work and now that everything works I feel so relieved so that was very important for the, the good of the company so after I did all of that, I had to uh, launch the company. So now that the company has launched, the thing that helped me for the good, the good working of the company, if I could say, was access. Obviously, access is used by a lot of companies. It's a way very practical, user friendly, and quick to make uh, different tables, different. Uh, different information very clear very accessible for everyone so for example now the company uh, as we work uh, we can add new clients say what their client id is first name last name phone number email addresses street addresses city state and zip code so that's uh, very quick to see like oh we thought uh, we talk about the the client ID 15766, oh, who is it, who is it? Now we can go in the table and see that it's, in fact, Renovation du Bondeur. So for the orders, uh, same thing, we have orders number. If you want to see with one, what, with which uh, client it fits. So for example, we can see, oh, that was Renovation du Bondeur, so their order was uh, uh, 129. So for the product, same thing, we can keep account of uh, how many uh, 3D printed hammers we need from the, tape, the type A, B, C, D, uh, E, F, G. So, uh, and the total price, the quantity, so that's a way to just figure everything out so quickly. Same thing for the client query, we can remove some important information as well as uh, orders query products query, query and hammers so uh, everything is so easy to work with so for sure this is a game changer for the company so another very very important part of uh, the access is the forms and the report so for the for the forms it's the new client form 
So the new client form is in fact if a, if a new client come at uh, see my father to have a 3D printed hammer, we have to keep track of the order, the type of hammer he wants, and all these information, very important information that we can't lose. So we're just gonna create a new form with a new client ID, uh, fitting with the first name, last name, phone number, and all the important uh, all the important information to reach out to the clients when the order is ready, to send it to their home, to uh, write to them if there's a problem, to even call them if there's a problem. And the last thing, very important, was the client orders in the report. So uh, this client's order is just to organize very well the orders for each client. So now the most important information, so there's a picture of the hammer they want, the quantity, the total price, the product name, product ID, delivery date, order date, order number, and all the information, the most important information for the clients. So I think that overall, access was very, very helpful for me. So if I come back to just the company, uh, Renovation Le Bordiab definitely succeed with their project. Uh, I wouldn't go back in on any decisions because all the different documents had a specific job, a specific role. So everything has its way to work and I think that the business work because of all those documents, it wouldn't have worked without them. So I, I'm very grateful that I learned to work with all of these products because now the company uh, has lunch and everything works so well. So thank you.